Ladies, 4-0, you big win over Memphis. Just for each of you, what are, you, what are your thoughts, general thoughts on how you played tonight? Um, I think that was kind of like the first game this season that we like came out really aggressive and like worked together and we're getting really big tackles. And it was like we set a tone early and like we needed a game like that, honestly. Yeah, I think it was a confidence booster. We had, we've obviously come off of three wins, but at the same time, we didn't feel like ourselves. I feel like there was kind of a little, little things that we were lacking. And quite honestly, I think we needed to play a team like a Memphis or a team that was ranked um, that would give us a run for our money and to see if we were able to rise to the challenge in a way. Um, and I think, I think obviously uh, we succeeded and it, we put together a lot of pieces tonight and grew our confidence for, for the future games. So. How did you feel about your team's response? You, you were two of the veteran leaders on this team. How did you feel about the response to some of the emotions of the game, just the back and forth and some of the chippiness? How did you feel your team responded to that? Yeah, I think we've, we've talked about how games are going to go from us having a lot of territory and a lot of the game, and then there's going to be parts where they do. Um, and it's just a matter of how fast can we turn, turn that time of their game into our game. Um, and so we've talked about it a lot, and it's more of a mindset than anything. We need a big, a big tackle, a big, uh, a big pass, a big possession to to get the um, the ball back in our our place. So I think, quite honestly, just the swing of play and the way that it uh, that it went helped us tremendously. Um, we may have needed the goal to, to wake up a little bit um, and to get going, but I thought for the most part, Sasha and the back line did a great job of staying locked in, even though at times the ball was uh, up up top. So. Yeah, I feel like we, we started the game off really strong, you know, like hitting, tackling, doing all that. But I think one of the biggest things was like, even though, even after we got the goal, we were still like going at them. Like we didn't back off just because we were winning. And I mean, it was like that after like they scored and then we scored again. Like it wasn't like we were just going to kind of back off and like not play like ourselves because like of the score of the game. So I thought it was really good. First game of the year with the students back in town, and obviously the crowd was much bitter, bigger than uh, the, the home opener. Just what did it mean to you, and what was your reaction to seeing the, the crowd mostly full? Oh, it's amazing. It, it helps us tremendously. You can you can tell even when we hit or have a tackle or they get a yellow card, they erupt. So it makes us it makes us hungry. It makes us excited to keep going. So we can't thank them enough for coming out and supporting us. Yeah, it's awesome. It's just electric. Like it, it means so much more when you like get a goal or a header or a tackle like hearing that the crowd hearing them yell your name like it just makes you want to do it over and over again because it it makes you realize you're not just playing for each other you're playing for like university of alabama as a whole you both missed some time with injuries talk about nothing significant but talk about how important it is for you guys to be back how it feels and you guys position group in the midfield i think uh we're, we're just here to help the team in any way that we can and especially playing with each other i think i think we do well and um I mean, we're excited and we're glad that we get the opportunity to, to rest out a game or whatever and then be able to, to hop right back in. So we're thankful for that. But at the same time, um, we're just excited, I feel like, to, to be back in the swing of things and working together and, and training and, and games. Yeah, I think, I think it was definitely different for Fee and I. Um, neither of us have really, like, experienced something like that. But um, being back together, you know, we, have, we were fortunate enough to, like, be able to play with each other in the middle for pretty much the past four years so being in there again especially against a really good opponent um it feels really good you know like to kind of be able to take control help some of the younger players just do our thing i guess felicia what did you see the con the handball seemed like it was a little bit controversial what did you see on that play and then what's your mindset going to the spot to try to give you guys a lead um honestly when i took like i took the volley i i couldn't see exactly where it hit off so i'm not exactly sure i think Obviously, the ref made the decision he did, and f based off of what I know, I think VAR, once you call the the play, you can't really take it back. So um, we were fortunate enough to get the PK, and then um, I just really felt relaxed and calm and didn't, didn't really think much of it. I picked the side that I was going to and just tucked it away, but um, like I said, I don't – I just shot it. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> How does y'all feel about Coralie tonight? I mean, big spot for a freshman, and obviously you have to replace some program grade in that. What did you think of how she rose to the occasion tonight? I thought she did great. Um, you know, she came in uh, in the spring as a freshman, like, and she came in with such a voice, you know, to be that young and, like, be in the goal and, like, directing people, making big saves, like, being demanding, like, having that confidence is so huge to play in, like, the collegiate level, and she came in and she did that tonight, had some really big saves. Um, she's she's great yeah we needed we needed a couple big saves from her and and those are game changing uh saves for us and it's hard as a keeper to to be back there and not not necessarily have a save and then all of a sudden have to make a big one and especially as a freshman 
for her to be fo focused that whole 90 minutes is, is cr pretty crazy. So between her and Dylan, we feel pretty comfortable back there. And so a matter of whoever's back there, we, we're excited about it. Last one for me is that uh, you're playing uh, Miami on Thursday. What will be the focus over the next handful of days to uh, get yourself ready for that ACC matchup? I think it's just like every other game that we prepare for. It's to be ourselves and to go in and do the things that we did out here uh, versus Memphis and, and hunt and be excited about playing and come with energy um, and focus on ourselves, I think, is the biggest part. Yeah, like we said, it's it, I mean, it's about recovery, you know, getting back to work at practice, but ultimately it's about how we play and what we do. It's not really as much the opponent. So. I saw that smile when he asked the question, you want one back on them? Oh, yeah, yeah that's redemption. We want redemption bad. <laughs> <laughs> and last thing for me, a year ago tomorrow is Clemson. And a year ago tomorrow, it kind of seems like all this started. Just talk about what this journey's been. You're both back for another year and what you've seen over the last year. I mean, I think I think it's pretty exciting to see uh, see how far it's come. I was I was looking around and even the national anthem and like signing autographs and like all these little things that no one really notices. Um, we used to not have people seeing the national anthem. We would have a video playing, or we used to not have people want our autographs after the game. Um, we used to not have those two banners over there hanging up, and we used to not have a crowd as large as we, we did. And I think it started with Clemson. It started from games before, but um, it's exciting to continue to, to back ourselves up and, uh, and to prove ourselves. And, yes, we're a different team. Yes, we might not achieve the same things. We might achieve more. We might achieve less. But it's just exciting to come out here and compete every day and prove that we are one of the top teams in the country. Yeah, no, definitely. I think um, last year, like, the Clemson game was – Incredible, it was one of the biggest crowds we'd ever had. Um, but that was kind of the start to like all the soccer fans and everything and to see people back out and like supporting us again, like they help us just as much as like we want to perform for them. And um, yeah, like he said, like last year was awesome and like this year's a different team, but um, it's pressure, but pressure is a privilege and we're ready to go out and just make our mark for this year, not based off last year. Good to go. Thanks, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you.